Hello there and welcome back to Cory Loses, where we are once again continuing our Stellaris playthrough in the Fallen Republic mod as the Mandalorians. In the last episode, we started a war with the Achani, but more importantly, the Yuuzhan Vong started a war with literally everyone. So we'll see how that invasion ends up progressing. The Greater Javan is about to be uh, just gone. I'm not sure if the invasion point is randomized. I think it is. Uh, that would be my assumption because otherwise it'd probably be more up here. I don't know if Helska is on this map in particular. Uh, Helska in Cern Pidal, but uh, like I think it randomizes among Outer Rim systems. But uh, that that would have made our Confederate Remnant playthrough a lot harder if that was where they ended up last time. But uh, yeah, they are turning into the non-existent Javin, as Willis is saying in chat. This is being recorded live on Twitch, so I will be responding to Twitch chat as we play through here. But uh, it looks like the Achani First Fleet is is back in action after wiping itself out against our structure. Uh, we do have Kandoses in this fleet. Where are they? Here we go. We got a Kandosi, we got Kiramuds. It's basically all the old uh, Mandalorian designs. Check the armies. They're all getting wiped pretty quickly. So by the time our army gets here, we should be fine to invade. Uh, let's do enhanced turbo lasers. I assume Kadalbes are in the mod. I just don't know. I don't think we have access to them yet. Uh, unless one of the recent texts that we got added it. So let's see. Javier, Victory, Kiramud, Kandosi, Centurion. Yeah. Five hundred and sixteen away from achieving our war goals. I don't think we'll have to invade the uh the huts. What are they doing down there? I think they've lost just lost Isdinaha. I think they only had lost Gunthar and maybe Darlin Boda when we started. But I could be wrong on that. I wasn't paying super close attention to the specifics down there. I'm thinking we'll be able to take Achani and maybe one or two other people out before the man or before the Yuzon Vaughn get here. All right, and you guys, what is your path going to be? See, this is a bad path. Is it? No, it's only through one, so that's probably fine. We'll bring them together. Worst case scenario, we build more. I'm too lazy to go the other way. Let's get some more research going. We are going to go for mining station output, improving our economy. Our economy hasn't been the strongest this game, but it's starting to get rolling, really. So we'll go from here to Burkest and then to Thrysis into Pangai, Magali afterwards. The Rodians are more xenophobic. Up, oh, they got another planet. They got Vendelman and Zephyr. I've actually taken two planets in that time. So Javin and then Tenex and Juvix are probably in pr in trouble, in problem. Farmers plus 10, starbase capacity. Let's get that upkeep, upkeep cost down. Uh, market, we need some lasers or some. There. We're going to be losing those. Add a monthly trade of buying hyperfuel. We'll need to do that, and that'll put us down a little bit. But we're going to be able to sell a good amount of these guys again, because we're making so many alloys. Who's joined a federation? 
federated systems. The Commerce Guild and the Teon. Not really who you expect there, necessarily, but... Uh, base trade value, specialist pop resource output, let's do that one. Adopting all increases monthly alloys by 10%. <laughs> Right, these are all unnecessary. We have so many events here. I really wish in Empire at War you could grab the UI object in uh, in a Lewis script and then you could just attach stuff everywhere. All right, uh, no armies. Land armies. On to Burchest. Initiating ground assault. Victory shall be ours. Right, planet is occupied by us. Let's see what actually ends up being here. Uh, there's really not that we can invade this planet like right away as well. Scientific breakthrough achieved. More research for us. Naval command post. All right, that's gonna be even better for our economy. We're getting that starbase up and market. Uh, let's remove that. We don't need to buy more minerals. We have a bunch of minerals and we'll even sell a thousand of them or 2000 of them. 7.5 K health on that. How are the, uh, how's that hut fleet coming? Is it anywhere that we can see? It'll probably just die, like, they'll probably come and just die without us even noticing. How about that Yuzan Vong fleet, though? All right, they're actually going to the Corporate Alliance now. They haven't finished eating Javin, and they're already going for Corporate Alliance. Like, come on, guys. I understand that you're evil intergalactic invaders, but, like, come on. Let's try to be efficient with our resources here, says a person playing Stellaris in one of the least efficient ways possible. A lot of Rebel Armada is moving through this area that I, I've never signed off on. Uh, transports. Get down there. Where are these other units? There, kill those guys. Finding a spot to land wasn't hard at all. There's only one small section of the whole planet with the energy signatures. The bad news is that this means automated security is indeed active. Uh, okay. Okay, those are dead. Like, I'm not even gonna bother with any of that. Mandalorians, land armies, reassign you to there first. I'll group them up after this. Okay, we're actually really good on resources right now. More dying seals. Uh, ECM. 
Elite conflict mod. Yeah. Oh, you do have a station here. Okay, they just ate most of Senex. Oh, they, they really only got one planet from Senex. So. Scientific breakthrough achieved. Or Juvex, rather, not Senex. Uh, fleet command. Yeah, let's do the fleet command increase. This a rebel? Yeah. Another rebel fleet flying through here. Uh, G? Oh, that does work. Epic. Alright, and now we're gonna go over here. All right, mining station outputs increased. Proton torpedoes, let's do that. And you guys, I guess... No, I wanted you... To do this. Means that's only I mean that's really shit too. Land armies. Transport en route. Initiating ground assault. Victory shall be ours. All right, no, that's one more planet left, and then we'll have literally everything other than, well, everything that belongs to them. But then we'll be able to settle status quo and we'll have everything anyways. Otherwise, we'd have to wait forever for the huts to start showing up, or we'd be invading huts in the centrality with no chance of actually taking anything from them, which would be just super annoying. And this planet has just the station. Can't afford that right now. Uh, they have a fleet of 423 with a single architect. Vontae Kandera has developed new skills. Do we still have Bokatan? Yeah, Bokatan is 94 now. Hello, Knight Zorna. The CIS is starting to get eaten up by the Vong. We never really saw the mid-game crisis, I don't think. Just the, the end-game crisis. Is this even a planet? No, this isn't even a planet. So once we have this station done, we'll have everything. Like, we could technically settle status quo right now, and we'd be fine. Because they'd cease to be a faction. They wouldn't have any planets. Mm, what's Arcania like? Pathetic equivalent. Let's see if we can make some claims on, uh... You? And you? Oh, they're cordial. That's my bad. I didn't mean to do that. All 
I'm sorry. Scientific breakthrough achieved. We'll probably go for for Tanab. But that'll that'll take down our starbase building module. E eh, do mass drivers. That'll take down our best station here. Thanks for following mode. How are you doing? Trandoshans declared war on the Chalactans. Guys, like, come on. Chalactans, Trandoshans, Yuzon Vong are here, and you guys are fighting amongst yourselves. Let's go see how our war with the Achani is doing. Uh, we can settle status quo. We'll accept this for now? What do you mean for now? Oh, that was our side. Never mind. Wait a minute. Aw. Shit, I didn't take the other planet. That is... I didn't even notice it. Oh, I'm an idiot. Oh, well. This is Fallen Republic. While well, fighting into the compound, something became clear. This isn't meant to be a museum for the glory of the CIS, but instead just a temporary storehouse. Automated security continues to pose a threat. Got a minor artifact. Okay. Well, they're still around, but... Meh. Uh, the Karma Skill is up here. I assume they're all together, so... It's not going to do us much good if we uh, just take them out. Migration Treaty, Overlord of the Achani. Alliance with the Tion. That's it. We can probably take that pretty easily. So how are the Tion? Like, they're big, but are they powerful? Yeah, they're pathetic. They're absolutely pathetic. And we're kind of, we're bordering with the Rebel Alliance, but we haven't really come into any major conflict with them. The Juvex Sector joined the Cosmic Pact. The Verpine. <laughs> Blue Command Limit. Let's get the Naval Capacity increase. You guys can reinforce, repair, or reinforce, upgrade, repair. Reinforce, upgrade, repair. Can I even contact these on phone? Contacts. We stay alphabetical. No. All right, traditions, interstellar franchising, ship build cost and building cost, increases our alloys, and we get an era perk. So let's see. Uh, move sprawl, edict duration, financial factor, no. Where's the late game crisis damage? Is there one? Droid leaders, world shapers, space fortress. I don't think they have a, a late game crisis one. Heavy ordnance focus. Let's do that. Javin has two planet or three planet. Nope, four. Nope, three. We have established a new planetary base. Research alternatives, it's always helpful. And we have Ordo now. All right, Mandalore is gonna be
Get a heritage site. The unrest on Ishan has resulted in terrorist action. Oh no. Axilla needs some jobs. So let's get, you know, let's get a resource silo. As the social order continues to break down on Burchess, residents not native to Mandalorian clans have found themselves unwitting objects of increased antipathy in the colony. That is quite bad. Ooh, hyperfuel refinery. And let's demolish two of these for two more of those. So we do need housing in a lot of places. Uh, you need that, so let's do... Let's do some government districts here. Mandalia. And ooh, residences. There. Ryloth joined the Cosmic Pact. Araidu joined the Cosmic Pact. Oh, well, association status. Let's see how these alliances are all kind of shaking out. Alliance. There's the Star Federation, which is the Rebels, the Bothans, Shalactin, and Mon Calamari. So that's basically the Rebel Alliance. The Corellians, Tanab, Verpine, Ryloth, and Juvax are in the the Cosmic Pact, and then the Teon and Commerce Guild are making the CIS again, which the CIS themselves are not actually part of. But everyone's pathetic compared to compared to us, pretty much. Except for the Rebels, which are equivalent. And I think the Hapens and Empire? Let's not do this right now. Yeah. So CSA, the Rebel Alliance... And Corellian security are around our level. Galactic Empire is better. Hapens are much better. And the Yuzon Vong are just going to snipe everyone. They're much, much, much better. But it doesn't actually look like they've done much conquering recently. They're kind of losing their touch. I'm not afraid of them anymore. They're way on the other side of the galaxy. What do I have to fear from them? Not my problem. I'm going to role play as the core in, uh, in the NJO. Faction influence gain. The Stellar Accord voted to form an alliance. Now there's even more of them. This is getting out of hand. It's like four of them now. Get out of here. So many notifications. Uh, let's see. Cosmic Pack, Confederated System, Star Federation, and Stellar Accord is Qtric and Council of Elders. Uh, so the Empire isn't really an alliance. They're just kind of doing their own thing, all of them. Who are they? Let's make some claims on Castell. Did they just take Iriadu? Yeah, I think they did. Is that the Iriadu authority gone? Incoming transmission. From who? Alliance Association offer. From the Council of Elders with the Stellar Accord. You know what? Let's be friends with someone. 
Why can't we be friends? Why can't we be friends? Is it because I invaded you repeatedly? All these are like useless to me. <laughs> Someone die? I think someone died. Yep, someone died. That's that's rough. Uh, ooh, research speed. You know what? I'll take it. Death for better stuff. And he was 97. Aiming to do full conquest. I don't know what our end goal is going to be. Probably the 60% of the galaxy thing. Uh, or getting eaten by the Yuzon Vong. I think it's very likely that we lose this campaign to the Yuzon Vong, because I did them as early as possible, because uh, I was more interested in seeing the uh, the events. Like, if we end up beating the Vong, maybe, then we'll do that, but... All right, let's get another Centurion, another. These reinforce all. All right, this fleet is broken in the menu. I have more respect for them if they would finish off these little bits of territory. It's like, come on, guys. What do we got here? Focus points. Uh, fortify the border, nutritional plentitude, fleet supremacy. What does this do? Ship upkeep plus 10%, but starting experience plus 100, ship build speed plus 10, diplomatic weight from fleet power plus 10. Yeah. How's Q-Trick feeling about us now? Receptive but belligerent. It's me if I don't get enough sleep. What's up here? Pirate fleet, that's pretty pretty big. Alright, uh let's create a new sector. We need a new governor. Let's get Let's get the lifespan on you. Let's get the lifespan on you. Okay, yeah, they are, they're focusing on invading Ariadu, or Ariadu. Because a lot of this is just getting absolutely demolished. God, the Galactic South is just fucked. Okay, well, let's sell some of these. Uh, selling starfighters. We can sell even more starfighters. We can sell another hundred food. Easily. Several craven civilizations there we go. Together in a federation. United Interlinked Systems. There's so many alliances now. Rise of the Empire of Frigates. Uh, heavy vehicle facilities. I mean, that was kind of a waste, but... 
Okay, excavation is still ongoing here. I thought that was done for some reason. But who is that now? That's Banking Clans and Doran Commonwealth. Like, you guys aren't even joining together to make the CIS again. What good are you? You're part of the Cosmic Pact. Who's the Cosmic Pact again? That's Corellia, Tanab, Onderon, Verpine, Ryloth, Pantorans, Juvex, Uriadu. So the the getting eaten by the Yuzon Vong Alliance. Truly one of the scarier scarier groups in the in the galaxy. But on a more related note, Kingdom of Onderon, why are you not part of me? Your physics researchers, engineering researchers. I mean, are we getting to the point where we fight the Rebel Alliance? Our ships have been made superior. No, I think we're getting to the point where we fight the uh, the Commerce Guild. Got Castell claimed. We're gonna claim you. Can't afford it right now. Scientific breakthrough achieved. I'm not even gonna go to war with them because it's gonna be an issue where we can't get enough to to settle status quo with just thrice Thyrsus, I'm pretty sure. So I'm not I'm not even going to worry about it. Maybe I'll uh, I'll just improve our relations enough to or force them. I can't really do much with them. It's too annoying having to fight the huts and them. Hydroponics. The team is now fighting its way through the old security center. We're quite sure that this will lead to the inner vault. Proceed. The vault contains credits and different relics from all over Separatist space. Our greatest envoy or greatest discovery were the crown jewels of Empress Tita, believed to be long lost. It looks like they were plundered by the Confederates. So relic found, Empress Tita's crown jewels, we get some minerals, we get some credits. I'm not even sure where the fuck those live. Um Whatever. Right, we need institutional focus for that. I don't think we have any carriers, but I'm gonna look at the uh, the fleet manager again. So we're actually kind of low on ships. We can build another fleet, really. Uh, Nebulon B. I don't want Nebulon Bs. Kendosi, Centurion, me. All right, I'm going to build a new fleet. Kiltrins, crate class Corvettes. Never heard of those before. Well, I want 10 of them. Jehavir, I want 10 of you as well. Uh, salt ship, some lictors, Kandosis, three Kandosis. Kiramud. Yeah, I just I don't think I have any uh, any carrier types right now. Start building that up. All right, what do we want now? I may as well finish some of these. Wow, they're just really going through there. Scientist Maverick Sparoya has died. 
all the scientists are like we're getting up there in their 90s or something we're in the We're in the second generation. Uh, I don't think anyone is high enough ranked though to, yeah. Okay, go upgrade. Trade Federation is Xenophilic. I actually don't like how far north this uh, this spur of the Yuzon Vong is. They're just gonna like eat through the Galactic Empire and then they're like right at our border. They haven't wiped out a whole faction yet, though. So how good can they really be? King Father Kildongo. He has the beautiful trait. Or Hapen Beauty. He probably doesn't. Scientific breakthrough achieved. Naval capacity, don't really need that. Let's get the starbase capacity. Like, we could technically conquer them right now, because we have a claim on their only actual system. But that'd mean that they're open. Well, you know what? That's still faster than anything. So let's do it this way. Scientific breakthrough achieved. Are you both there? Oh, you are both there. Willis is asking the Vong are edible. That is correct. They are all organic. Bribed officials on Bodajev. This seems like a lot of sound effects for some officials getting bribed. I, I was expecting, I was just assuming, operating under the assumption that, uh, that they were being bribed already. Scientific breakthrough achieved. Energy credits from technicians. All right, Castell. They have like literally nothing. On the way. There's one coming there. We only need the one construction ship, and we only have the one construction ship, so. I'm gonna get some board science ships over here. Well, you're empty, so you're not even just bored. Scientific breakthrough achieved. Energy districts improved. All right, they are mostly done eating Ariado. Confederate Remnant is almost eaten. Then it's going to be Utapau. There's some systems that are like 
quite sparse down here, so that'll actually be quite quick for them to take out. All right, we are we are in a battle. They sent their actual fleet here. And by their actual fleet, I mean whatever this is. I need to slow her down a little bit, I think. Oh, DH Omni is their supply ship. Or their colony ship, rather. Don't know where they were sending it. But they do have two of them. It is too bad about that, uh, that whole situation. This might be one of the shortest wars ever. We're at 3% war exhaustion, of course. Get that 8.5k station. Translation software malfunction. It appears that a mischievous third party was able to hack into the translation software of our envoy to the Kudrick hegemony. Shirak Bondim, so that her magnanimous platitudes instead became vicious insults that left none unscathed, not least their overseer, who was declared to be a vile chick. Although the malfunction was swiftly uncovered, the humans were not amused at the incident and have lodged an official complaint at the inappropriate behavior of the envoy. Uh, opinion changed by minus 25. I mean, we invaded them a lot. I... I don't think that's unexpected. Zabrak has joined the, the pack. Like, there's a lot of alliances that are gonna keep forming here. I don't know that we're gonna be invited to like actually join one, but I were the trade federations, Igerian slave state, Trandoshans, uh, and Kingdom of Zeltros. The, the Rebel Alliance is fighting some other people in the north here. And some people in the south. Actually, no, where's the Trade Federation? Yeah, it's here. So kind of north. Who died? No, Bo-Katan! She died! Rip Bo-Katan. Mandalore Vante Cadera with no air. Can't afford it. Should do this with Ek and Charlie. I don't think Ek really likes Stellaris. Which is weird considering how much he likes Civ, but I guess I can kind of see the... why one would be appealing and one wouldn't. Mavericks Far has developed new skills. Like, for me, they both scratch the same itch of, like, watching borders change, so that's all I really care about. Uh, Admiral Lorana Kelborn has learned how to deploy your units, uh, so we now have the scout trait. Senex and Juvix are, like, two systems for Juvix. One, two, three, four, five, six for Senex. Ariadu still has Kolu, Sullust, uh, Indipar, and Yegdol, and Runa. Well, just Runa. They have Yegdol, the Vongdu. But that puts them in direct conflict with the Empire, with a very thin line of planets. New heir, Ada Farls is new heir to our Empire. And we'll take the throne when our current ruler dies. It's not quite Crusader Kings 3 level of, uh, of that, but... You all just need to go there. Because you're not actually doing your job. Commercial Pact Invitation. With the Ariadu. Sure. You do you, guys. You got... You got to make the best of your last couple... Uh, 
times. What is this going to do? Trade value plus 15 and monthly energy. You know what? Oh, this also increases plus 30. Oh, but the active, the passive effect here of monthly unity and diplomatic weight is pretty good. Passive effect from that is the 30. So we already got that. Passive effect is monthly unity 10%. All right, now on to Castell. My name is Bam Zolaris, and I've been leading a team researching new armor components. I'm pleased to announce that we've made a substantial breakthrough, offering us a number of potential applications to pursue. Let's do armor plating. Are you going to eat the Vong? I mean... I feel like it's more of a when are the Vong going to eat us question. It's like half the factions are just going to be gone. Especially now that we're bordering. We have uh, one faction separation in some places here, basically. Uh, forge districts. That rebel fleet was the biggest fleet that we've seen this entire war, and we're not even fighting them. We are tracking an enemy fleet. He's on this side, Tion as well. Not Tion, Tion. Are you guys still technically in fleet combat? Oh, there you are. Well, they have so many colony ships, and I don't know why. Well, by DH Omnis. I think they all managed to jump. It's kind of sad. All right, well, we can invade you anyways. Hopefully, once we have Castell and Sholstein, that'll be enough to... Uh, To actually end the war and status quo. Scientific breakthrough achieved. Armies. They're all pretty weak. I think our army can actually handle that now. I don't remember the menus. Or like the UI when you're zoomed into systems being quite as as wonky in the base game. There's just so much going on. Reduce some upkeep. We're pretty much full on every bit of our economy, like the main resources. And everything's positive, so... Wait, is that dead? Did we lose our army? What killed it? That is so fucking annoying. Oh, are they involved in invasion already? Never mind. I'm dumb. Yeah. Transport. Our 
warriors have failed to conquer a planet. I did that too fast. My bad. Let's switch you for the better army. Uh, increased fire rate. Scientific breakthrough achieved. New research. We want research speed again. Always go for the research speed. Corporate alliance is three planets. Ariadu still does have... Uh, one, two, three, four. I think they had one more up here, didn't they? And Yegdal is already occupied by the Yuzon Vong. Same thing with Sullust and Kolu. So really, they are, uh... They're doing more than I even thought. Like, Hoth is still independent there. And Garantham and Lorda. The rest of those planets are taken by then. Wait, what? Oh, there's the Teon fleet. Initiating ground assault. Victory shall be ours. See if this goes any better. Like, our soldiers should be better than some gossams. I'm thinking too laurely. Initiating tactical. Yeah, let's retreat. I shouldn't, I should have just waited till we did everything. So we could just kill them all. Scientific breakthrough achieved. Is this actually going to win us the battle again? No, okay. Thank God. Alright, Rise of the Empire Cruisers. They have 52. I might actually just send these guys to Shalstein. To Shaw Silverstein. Or you know what? I'm going to send them back. I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, fleet manager... Because really, this is the fleet that we actually wanted. But whatever, since the other one exists now. Has the leader. Javier Kiramud. 
Kandosi Lictor. There. Okay, we'll stop them at Corson. We're gonna take back all of our stuff before we settle status quo. Okay, now you can properly land. Initiating ground assault. There we go. And now we're going to go to their last remaining planet with this fleet. Well, the rest of our fleet goes and takes back our planets. Especially because they sent out those fleets, like, that'll be great for the war exhaustion on their side, like, for increasing their war exhaustion, rather. This is... Oh, they have a transport fleet from Teon down here for some reason. Well, we're going to kill a 1k stack of theirs, kill that last station, which is their last territory. Um, well, I say stack. It is one fantail. This fleet is mostly corvettes, actually. So it might suffer some heavier casualties than I want. The sad reality of having to kill all of your own territory. Or all your own stations. I'd feel better about this if we had our other uh, our other fleet here too, but we do need to take our stuff back. We have a lot of alpha damage, so there is that. How are we doing on this one? Because usually we're flying around with like. 40k stacks against these guys. Not even Warhammer 40k. Just the number. Oh, this is ours now? Perfect. We are tracking an enemy fleet. Uh, Sparrow's asking, have you thought about doing Star Trek New Horizons? I have actually done one or two playthroughs of that on the channel before. But if, uh, depending on how people feel about more Stars on the channel, then it'd definitely be an option. Uh, I think we'd probably do a bit more Fallen Republic before to establish that, because I think generally more people on the channel would be more interested in Star Wars over Star Trek. But then if, like, Star Stellar's videos start doing as well as Empire at War videos currently do on the channel, then I'd be probably able to do some other non Star Warsy stuff with it. All right. Um we kill this, can we just achieve our war goals? Scientific breakthrough achieved. All right. Uh that'll be 
ship upkeep costs? Let's do that one. So we're not even building anywhere near our command limit anyways right now. I really don't know what fucks up the, the fleet grouping with that. Alright, let's research the Star Fortress. Are the Vong invading the Empire any? No. They haven't made much progress recently. Maybe a bit out here. Hot Cartel made a tributary near the Kingdom of Zeltros. All right, well, we'll finish this war, and that'll probably do it for the episode, if not the stream. Because this episode is over an hour already. And I am going to be streaming later with uh, tabletop stuff, so I should probably not go super duper long. Oh, come on, are we really... Fuck this war system. I hate it so much. Like I'd, I control literally the entire territory of the people that we, we need to beat. But maybe this will be enough. Like, please let that be enough. Who's this? Oh, that's a minor faction. Like, maybe we'll get enough to settle status quo by wiping out this Teon fleet when this Munificent and Neutron Star flies into our into our star base. It looks like they're actually taking on even more of the Confederate remnant over there. They've taken over all these planets. So the corporate alliance is done. Uh, right, that fleet's dead. Minus eight for status quo still. And the thing is, invading Teon won't even do much for us. We kind of got to let Teon invade us. Because taking their territory will increase our war exhaustion more for planets that we're not even keeping because we need to fight their fleets if we want to increase their war exhaustion without increasing ours. So we're just waiting for the attack. We are tracking an enemy. Minus three still. I claim any of these for that. No, oh, that's minus eight. For some reason. Okay, get back here. If we intercept this fleet, will that do anything? That's a 10k station.
No, that's just gonna fly away. All right, let's see if this does it for us. A minus nine. A recusant, Nebulon B. If we can kill these guys, will that be enough of a difference? Or do we have to just wait for more of their fleets to attack us? Give it up. They've jumped up a little bit here as well. They've taken over a couple of these planets, not all of them. They've taken over Juvax, but not Casito. Oh, there's one coming in to this side. All right, you guys are going to go up here. What's Potajev Station look like? I can't find it in all this. 8.1k and they sent a 3k. Oh, we can settle status quo. Epic. The Commerce Guild has been destroyed by its enemies. We will accept this for now. Uh, do I have a construction ship somewhere? You are... Uh, oh, we need to survey. So let's survey here and survey here. But that is going to do it for today for both the stream and the recording. So for those watching on YouTube, thank you for watching. Hope you're enjoying the series so far. For those watching on Twitch, thank you for watching and hope you're enjoying the series so far. Uh, I'm not sure when we're going to have the next stream or episodes of these. I'm hoping to have at least one episode per week. Uh, but we got a lot coming out in December. Uh, Vontae died at the age of 96. He didn't really last much longer than Bo-Katan. But, uh, but yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. Hope to see you next time. Have a good one.